Video IGC tool two. You I'm Dr. Isabel Souza, your presenter for this entire series. So we're going to move on right into the topic at hand. Nursing professionals. The chief focus of nurses are to care for patients recovering from illness. But there are different um, variations. So let's start with registered nurse, RN. Uh, they provide direct care. Um, and are involved in sometimes in the management, they must pass national certification examination. And uh, every single hospital unit I've been to has uh, a nurse manager, and they have to be an RN to do that. Now there's also nurses with bachelor's uh, BSNs as well. A licensed practice vocational nurse, LPN or LVN. They provide basic patient care, take vitals, administer medications, and report patient progress. And then you have the certified nursing assistant, CNA, who provides personal hygiene care for patients in hospitals and nursing homes. So all these uh, individuals are working together sometimes in large hospitals, in different areas, and they're all within the nursing profession. Let's move to the next um, slide and let's start talking about some allied health professionals. First here you have the medical assistant um, who performs administrative and clinical duties in the medical office, may be certified as a CMA or an RMA. Then we have the medical transcriptionist who prepares medical reports from a physician's dictation and they may be certified as a CMT. Then you have health information professionals. Um, these are uh, responsible for day-to-day -day maintenance of medical records and coding for healthcare services. Uh, they may be certified as an RHIT or RHIA. And let's go to the next um, slide and we're gonna see a few more uh, allied health professionals. The physical therapist, PT. Uh, they provide treatment to improve or restore a patient's ability to move. They use exercise, ultrasound, heat, and cold treatment. They must be licensed to practice. And they're often referred to as PTs. Occupational therapist, OT. They help patients regain daily living skills. They also help patients adapt after a debilitating illness or injury. Um, and they must be licensed to practice. Um, occupational therapists, uh, you know, could be really an important component of uh, healing uh, for any patient who's gone through uh, a really difficult surgery, an illness, or a kind of uh, injury. And then you have uh, physical and occupational therapist assistants, PTAs or OTAs. They provide treatment for patients as determined by a phys physical or occupational therapist. So as you can see, you know, the OT assistant will probably, um, you know, oversee the patient doing all the exercises as the occupational therapist prescribed them. So let's move on to the next slide on allied health professionals. You have that respiratory therapist who treats patients with respiratory dysfunction. Uh, they must be certified as a CRTT or an RRT. And then you have a radiology technologist, RT, or also called a radiographer, who takes x-ray images of the body. Um, a sonographer performs ultrasound examinations of the body. Then we have the medical laboratory technologist or technician who performs routine laboratory tests. The pharmacist, with whom we're all familiar, dispenses medication as prescribed by a healthcare provider to a patient and um, can also provide counseling on proper usage of a medication. And then here we have, of course, the medical interpreter who interprets health information between patients and providers. Now, although we have certification um, available to us, it's not yet manda mandated by law for us to be certified, but that should change as it does with all these other professions. 
Let's go on to the next slide. And now we're going to start talking about healthcare facilities. So, um, you know, interpreters work in so many different types of facilities. The first one I'm going to mention is clinic, where um, these are locations where outpatient care is provided or ambulatory care, where we typically go for, you know, regular office visits. Private practice, where uh, this would be a medical practice consisting of one physician or two or three at the most, but a private practice typically means that that physician is, is seeing, you know, has their own space to see all their patients. Hospitals, uh, also called healthcare organizations, but hospitals provide inpatient care. And many of them provide outpatient care as well. And inpatient care is um, defined as uh, when patients stay longer than 24 hours. Um, emergency departments are uh, typically, most hospitals will have them, and they provide emergency care. Um, many still call them the ER um, because of emergency room, but these rooms became large, and some of these emergency departments are quite big, especially if they can handle trauma. You know, they're categorized by trauma center one, trauma two, trauma three. Trauma three sees, you know, everything you can imagine. Then you have urgent care center, uh, which provides care for patients needing immediate physician uh, attention. Urgent care centers are, are becoming more popular and we're seeing them pop out 24 hour center. Or, and they're a great option for individuals that maybe don't want to go to the emergency department. They don't feel that they need that level of care, but they, you know, typically it's an ambulatory issue um, off hours. And so they, they just can't wait till the next day and they'll go to the urgent care center. So let's go to the next um, one, outpatient surgery or day surgery. That's performed by, on an outpatient basis and it's also called ambulatory care. Um, home health, that's uh, where uh, the services are provided to patients in their home. Um, home health care is, is, is typically provided for the geriatric uh, by geriatric providers um, for the elderly, and it's a great service for those that have mobility issues. Nursing home is where um, healthcare is provided round the clock care for residents. Then you have assistant level, assistant living, which is a level of care that's far less than the nursing home. Patients are given some assistance with meals or medications, but you know. They don't need as much care as a nursing home. And then you have public health, a govern, government agency provided, providing healthcare services. Actually, you know, there are very few public hospitals left in the US, um, but public health is more than that. It's any agency that's providing a healthcare service, such as in a pandemic, for example. So, this concludes um, this unit, and I thank you very much for listening.